published, 824 EDT, the 10th of April 2018, updated, 2040 EDT, the 10th of April 2018 floral tributes in memory of a serial burglar that were left outside the house where he was stabbed to death by a startled homeowner have been torn down for the third time by vigilantes. At about 9.30 p.m., a hooded man ripped about half of the bouquets down from a fence opposite the home of Richard Osborne Brooks, where Henry Vincent was killed during a botched robbery on Wednesday. When asked about stamping on the flowers and if he felt bad for the burglar's family, he said, I do actually. But I feel extra bad for Mr. Osborne, I am just going to dump the flowers somewhere. Police mounted on horseback have been brought in to keep the peace as locals fight a running battle over the controversial shrine, but no attempts have been made to stop the repeated towing and froing. The traveller family of serial criminal Henry Vincent returned to the South London Road to put the flowers back up for the third time at 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday, after they were repeatedly removed by furious locals. Several women began fastening flowers to the fence opposite the home of the 78-year-old, which had been ripped down at 3.30 p.m., just an hour and a half before they were last reinstated by mourners. Horse-mounted police officers have been patrolling in the road amid growing unrest in the street, but Scotland Yard told Mail Online that it could not intervene as no criminal activity was taking place. 9.30 p.m. Tuesday, a local man arrives on the scene and removes about half of the floral tributes from the fence opposite the home where Henry Vincent died during a botched burglary 9.30 p.m. Tuesday, having ripped half of the tributes from their fence. The man then took them around the corner, left, before stamping on them, shown right, 9.30 p.m. Tuesday. When asked about stamping on the flowers and if he felt bad for the burglar's family, he said, I do actually, but I feel extra bad for Mr. Osborne, I am just going to dump the flowers somewhere 9.30 p.m. Tuesday. The hooded man ripped about half of the bouquets down from a fence opposite the home of Richard Osborne Brooks where Henry Vincent was killed during a botched robbery on Wednesday 6 p.m. today. Police officers on horseback patrol the scene amid growing unrest in the street, with neighbors furiously pulling down tributes to the dead burglar left by relatives 5.45 p.m. Tuesday. Relatives of Henry Vincent have returned to the scene on three occasions, firstly to put the floral tributes up and another two times in order to put them back up after they were ripped down by locals 5.30 p.m. Tuesday. Loved ones of Henry Vincent returned once again this evening and started reattaching tributes to the fence opposite the home of Richard Osborne Brooks after they were dismantled overnight and again this afternoon the force said it would need to receive a complaint from the owner of the fence on which the shrine was erected to take action. One neighbor suggested the shrine was placed opposite the Osborne Brooks's home to antagonize them. She said, he, Vincent, did not die here. He died in hospital, you should put it where he lived. They should not have a tribute to him here. It should have been at the burglar's house. The tributes had been attached to a fence surrounding a property owned by 78-year-old Savary Matthew Augustine. Mr. Augustine said, when I heard they were on my fence, I was annoyed, I do not appreciate people putting them there. If it was a normal person that is different but he went and burgled the house. That is against my principles. It could have been my house he burgled. Neighbor Teresa Webb, 43, said of the shrine, It was inappropriate, poor taste really. You're thinking, how long will it be up there? I'm relieved it's down. Mr. Osborne Brooks himself has been forced into hiding after receiving death threats following the confrontation. Vincent, armed with a screwdriver, was stabbed during a confrontation with Mr. Osborne Brooks as he tried to burgle his home last week while the pensioner's wife, who has dementia, was in the property. Mr. Osborne Brooks was arrested on suspicion of murder, sparking a political outcry but just two days later was told he would no face no further action that, in turn, sparked anger from Vincent's family. 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, one of the family members takes a cigarette break after reinstating the shrine to burglar Henry Vincent, who was killed in a struggle with homeowner Mr. Osborne Brooks. 3.30 p.m. Tuesday, a man wearing a hat hacks down the shrine for career criminal Henry Vincent, 
opposite the home of Richard Osborne Brooks 3.30 p.m. Tuesday, as he tore down the flowers. The man said he was taking these s flowers down calling it an insult to Mr. Osborne Brooks 3.30 p.m. Tuesday, the man, who wore a beanie and did not give his name, added these need burning as he ripped the flowers down Vincent's cousin, who gave her name as Elvina, said of pensioner Mr. Osborne Brooks. He's a coward, he won't come out when we're here. When other people die they put flowers. Why can't we? We're not allowed because we're gypsies. Henry was murdered, the man who did it should be tried. That's all I'm going to say. Now FK off. Elvina vowed to keep coming back if the flowers are removed again. She added, people paid for these flowers, so he must have been well liked. The whole memorial has been torn down earlier at about 3.30 p.m. by a man who said he was taking these s flowers down calling it an insult to Mr. Osborne Brooks. The man, who wore a beanie and did not give his name, added, these need burning. Henry Vincent, 37, entered the property of Mr. Osborne Brooks with an accomplice in the early hours of Wednesday. Police believe he forced the elderly homeowner into his kitchen armed with a screwdriver, where a struggle ensued and the intruder suffered a stab wound. He fled the property on South Park Crescent in Hither Green, southeast London, at around 12.45 a.m., and collapsed on neighboring Further Green Road. 3.30 p.m. Tuesday, the man cut down the flowers that had been left by relatives of career criminal Henry Vincent. 3.30 p.m. Tuesday, the flowers were ripped down by the man wearing a beanie hat and carrying a pair of scissors. 3.30 p.m. Tuesday, the man removes the shrine after it was put back up by relatives and friends of Henry Vincent around 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tuesday, their shrine had been rebuilt earlier today by relatives and friends of robber Henry Vincent after it was vandalized last night to 10 p.m. Tuesday, one of the women who had put the flowers back up after they were ripped down last night talks with police today Mr. Osborne Brooks was initially arrested on suspicion of murder but was told by police he would face no further action. Scotland Yard officers are still hunting 28-year-old Billy Jeeves, who is wanted on suspicion of aggravated bear glory in connection with the incident. Earlier on Tuesday, Elvina Lee called whoever pulled the tributes down scum and labelled Mr. Osborne Brooks a murderer and a low-life apostrophe. She said, he's got no remorse, there is no remorse there. Have you ever heard that man say, not for Henry but for his mum and dad and his little girls, I'm sorry for his kids. Mr. Vincent's family also blasted the vigilante who pulled down the shrine for him outside Mr. Osborne Brooks's southeast London home, calling him a sick little man apostrophe. Last night an infuriated man filmed himself tearing down flowers, cards and balloons left for the career criminal outside Mr. Osborne Brooks's house and said, he was a piece of s who deserved what he got apostrophe dot but this afternoon Vincent's family and friends returned to the fence to tie bouquets, cards and balloons after they were ripped down. 2.10 p.m. Tuesday, a shrine for a burglar stabbed to death by a pensioner was rebuilt by family today after it was torn down overnight. 2.10 p.m. Tuesday, Vincent's family told Mail Online today that the people who tore it down are scum as they also called for Richard Osborne Brooks to apologize Tuesday morning, a shrine erected in memory of a burglar killed by the homeowner he was trying to rob was torn down by furious locals overnight 1am Tuesday, a vigilante drove to Hither Green, southeast London, before tearing down flowers and dumping the bunches in his boot, calling them trash, pictured left to right, 3 p.m. Monday, relatives of Vincent arrive at the scene to put up floral tributes opposite the home where he was killed as he tried to rob a pensioner and his disabled wife. Eep Monday, several women erected the shrine to Henry Vincent on a wooden fence opposite the house where he was stabbed. Tributes that last night were ripped down Mr. Osborne Brooks, pictured left, was arrested on suspicion of Henry Vincent's right, murder after he stabbed him with the screwdriver he used to break into his house. The pensioner was later released without charge, but is still being kept under police guard over safety concerns the body of a burglar stabbed to death by a pensioner in a raid on his home has been released to his family for burial, an inquest heard. Richard Osborne Brooks, 78, 
fatally stabbed Henry Vincent who with an accomplice broke into the hither greenhouse he shared with his disabled wife, Maureen, 76. One of the burglars was said to be armed with a screwdriver and forced the elderly man into the kitchen in the early hours of last Tuesday morning. Henry Vincent fled the scene after being stabbed, but collapsed in the street just yards from the house in southeast London. The 37-year-old later died at University Hospital Lewisham after suffering a stab wound to his upper body. Police on Friday said Mr. Osborne Brooks, who was initially arrested on suspicion of murder, will not face any charges. At Southwark Coroner's Court today an inquest in Vincent's death was opened by Assistant Coroner Sarah Ormond Walsh. A coroner's officer said the identification of Vincent's body was made by his sister after he died at University Hospital Lewisham. Addressing the family coroner Ormond Walsh added, I'm releasing the body. She also indicated there would be a pre-inquest review hearing at a later date. Elvina Lee, who said she was Vincent's first cousin, told Mail Online, This is the best place for these flowers to be. I don't know what's wrong with these people who dismantled them, I think they're scum. Discussing Vincent, she said. He was like a brother to me. He loved his family and his three babies. He wasn't a murderer, he wasn't a rapist. They're putting, sick, him as a monster. Murderer? The murderer is over there. Henry Vincent's aunt, was one on the seven women who put up the shrine and speaking at her home in St. Paul's Cray, near Orpington. Kent today said, in Lewisham there's burglaries every five minutes and I don't see anybody else getting condemned. He's got three little daughters. They have done nothing to the world. They are innocent, like him here. She points to a small boy. They are even condemning them, it's not fair. Why rip all his flowers down? Why do that? His auntie added. We didn't go and put anything on the old man's house we put it across the road where he died. Dot from where he went to where he died. We did not go near the old man's house, we don't want to know about the old man, to me. Do you want the truth? He's no effing pushover. Dot there is none there mate. There is none there. This flower business has got to stop. She, they shouldn't have been there. Fair enough but somebody has actually died here and they have left a family of three little daughters. How would you like it if your daughter's crying for her dad? You're the uncle sitting there watching it and they are calling the children scum. These children go to school. They can go to college. What is wrong with these people? They are children and grieving for their dad and he was a good dad to them. Another family member said people tearing down the flowers was terrible apostrophe. She added, yes they've gone there to get a bit of money and they had no rights to be in the old man's place and I will say that, the old man did have rights to stick up for himself but he's done a murder, he has murdered him. Relatives of Henry Vincent arrive at his inquest today where the coroner released his body to the family for burial supporters of Henry Vincent have criticized a vigilante who has ripped down a shrine in his honor outside the house he was burgling Vincent's father has also left a card at the scene and said he was too good to walk this earth however disgusted neighbors blasted police for allowing 37 year old Vincent's family and friends to construct the memorial in the first place. Officers said they were powerless to intervene. Just after midnight last night, a vigilante drove to the Green, southeast London, before tearing down flowers and dumping the bunches in his boot. Billy Jeeves, 28, pictured, is on the run following a botch trade at the southeast London home of Richard Osborne Brooks last Wednesday. He said, When I heard that the family of Henry Vincent, the burglar that got stabbed to death by his intended victim, had placed flowers on the road where he died, I was extremely furious. It infuriated me, so I just drove to South London, to the area to see it myself. Decided to remove the trash though. He added, donated the flowers to local graveyard and posted a photograph of the bouquets next to gravestones. Elsewhere, neighbors said they were terrified Vincent's supporters may return to stir up trouble. One said, there is the fear they might come back and cause a rumpus. They made it a bit of a shrine and they will return to the shrine. I would not come out if they came back. Resident Teresa Webb, 43, said she was relieved their large floral tributes had been cut down last night. She said, it is not the place.
it was stapled onto the fences of other neighbors who care for Richard. It is not nice, no one is in mourning for them here. We are a close knit community, the fact they put them there is inappropriate. There was 101 bouquets down there. Savary Matthew Augustine, 78, was concerned about the memorial. He said, I'm annoyed they put them up. If it was a normal person, it would have been different, but he burgled a house. A resident who lived two roads away was outraged by the memorial. He said, Why can't these people go to work like the rest of us? It's absolutely disgraceful, targeting an old man. I tell you what, though, he done well. It's do or die in those situations, and if more people did what he did, there'd be less burglaries. By J. Qualis Simons, Associate Global Editor Vigilante, who tore down the flowers left in tribute to dead burglar Henry Vincent, has told Mail Online he is not scared of retaliation because if those scum came at me, I'd get a screwdriver and do what Richard did. In an exclusive interview, the 6 foot 29 year old, who weighs 20 stone, said he was not the sort of person to walk on by when someone needed help. I just felt enraged that the family had the audacity to lay tributes for that animal scum, he said, flowers shouldn't be there. They are inappropriate. I'm from the school of thought where I think Richard did the right thing. The network engineer from Hackney, who asked not to be named, added, I've always been one to get involved with fights between people on the bus and muggings. If someone needs help I always step in. Once I called an ambulance for someone who was lying unconscious on the ground. I'm not worried at all about retribution. I'm only keeping myself anonymous because my family was worried. We're talking about low IQ scum who can't connect the dots. They're not clever enough to find me and even if they did, I'd get a screwdriver and do what Richard did. The first picture of the vigilante who removed the floral tributes to Henry Vincent last night the infuriated vigilante filmed himself last night tearing down the shrine erected in memory of a burglar killed by a homeowner he was trying to rob calling the flowers. Cards and balloons trash apostrophe. More than 100 bouquets were tied to a fence near 78 year old Richard Osborne Brooks's house to remember Henry Vincent, a career criminal stabbed to death in a botched burglar at the pensioner's property last week. His alleged accomplice Billy Jeeves, 28, is on the run having dumped their car close to the traveller estate. The friends come from near Orpington. Kent, outraged neighbors have blasted police for allowing 37-year-old Vincent's family and friends to construct the memorial. As officers said they were powerless to intervene. Cards left by his parents and girlfriends say he had a heart of gold and was too good to walk the earth. But late last night the vigilante drove to the Green, southeast London, before tearing down flowers and dumping the bunches in his boot. He said, when I heard that the family of Henry Vincent, the burglar that got stabbed to death by his intended victim, had placed flowers on the road where he died. I was extremely furious. It infuriated me, so I just drove to South London, to the area to see it myself. Decided to remove the trash though. He added, donated the flowers to local graveyard and posted a photograph of the bouquets next to gravestones. Photographs taken by Mail Online today show flowers balloons and cards left for Vincent torn down and strewn across the pavement. Many of the bouquets have disappeared altogether. Neighbors have said they are terrified that Vincent's supporters may return to cause trouble. One said, there is the fear they might come back and cause a rumpus. They made it a bit of a shrine and they will return to the shrine. I would not come out if they came back. Resident Teresa Webb, 43 said she was relieved the large floral tributes had been cut down. She said, it is not the place. It was stapled onto the fences of other neighbors who care for Richard. It is not nice. No one is in mourning for them here. We are a close-knit community. The fact they put them there is inappropriate. There was 101 bouquets down there. The man has donated the flowers to local graveyard and posted a photograph of the bouquets next to gravestones a shrine erected in memory of a burglar killed by the homeowner he was trying to rob was torn down by furious locals overnight others living near Richard Osborne Brooks had branded the memorial to career criminal Henry Vincent disgraceful, a taunt and an insult. 
nearly two dozen bunches of flowers were attached to a fence just 20 yards away from the 78-year-old's home in Hither Green, South London. One resident said of the mourners, they have taken over the road, but he can't move back. It doesn't seem fair. Police officers in the area had said they had no powers to remove the tributes. NHS worker Kaylee Taylor, 23, said, that is a really disgraceful display. They should not have this outside the house. Another resident, who asked not to be named, said, that shouldn't be there. It's out of order. The shrine in South Park Crescent also included balloons and cards that read you will be missed and I love you, including one beginning to my daddy. Mourners at the scene yesterday refused to speak about their tributes and stayed to reflect for around half an hour. Flowers and cards left for the burglar have been ripped from fences and lampposts overnight. Richard Osborne Brooks's home remains sealed today and he is in protective custody with his disabled wife. Flowers and cards left for the burglar have been ripped from fences and lampposts overnight. Outraged neighbors blasted police for allowing 37 year old Vincent's family and friends to construct the memorial and took the law into their own hands. Nearly two dozen bunches of flowers pictured, were attached to a fence just 20 yards away from the 78-year-old's home in Hither Green, South London, left yesterday, but these have now been ripped down today, right, one man has claimed to be responsible for tearing down the tributes late last night and some of the bouquets appear to have been taken away completely others living near Mr. Osborne Brooks had branded the memorial to Vincent disgraceful, a taunt and an insult. Nearly two dozen bunches of flowers were attached to a fence just 20 yards away from the 78-year-old's home in Hither Green, South London. One resident said of the mourners, they have taken over the road, but he can't move back. It doesn't seem fair. Police officers in the area had said they had no powers to remove the tributes. NHS worker Kaylee Taylor, 23, said, that is a really disgraceful display. They should not have this outside the house. Another resident, who asked not to be named, said, that shouldn't be there. It's out of order. Mourners at the scene yesterday refused to speak about their tributes and stayed to reflect for around half an hour. A traveler who knew Vincent for years warned that the dead man's relatives and friends were out for blood. He said, they won't get over a death of one of their own and they won't rest until they get their revenge. They'll go armed with whatever they've got, guns, knives, anything that they can lay their hands on. There is nothing that they won't do to get their own back on this pensioner. One card left for Vincent appears to have been written by his daughter saying strangers can say what they like but she was proud of him. The shrine in South Park Crescent, mourners pictured placing tributes there yesterday, also included balloons and cards. That read you will be missed and I love you Mr. Osborne Brooks's wife Maureen, who suffers with arthritis, is believed to be taking her husband's ordeal badly, adding to neighbors fury over the burglar's shrine. Outraged local Kaylee Taylor, 26, fumed, it's so insensitive, so disgusting it's make my blood boil. To me that is nothing but an insult. It's a taunt aimed at provoking Mr. Osborne Brooks and the people who live on this street who support him. I think this is a sick demonstration of how proud they are of what their relative did. If those flowers and tributes were on my fence. I'd have ripped them down straight away. I can't believe the police watched someone put them up and did nothing. Those burglars could have broken into any of our homes that night, so they'll get absolutely no sympathy from us. Alexandra Neformata, 26, added, That man was not deserving of such a tribute. I've seen on TV his family say how he was a decent and loving man. If that's the case, then what was he doing breaking into a house in the middle of the night? Mourners at the scene, pictured, refused to speak about their tributes and stayed to reflect for around half an hour. A woman is pictured bringing flowers to their makeshift shrine to Vincent opposite Mr. Osborne Brooks's home. An Osborne Brooks's family friend said the couple knows that their ordeal is far from over. Apostrophe. Richard is handling the situation as well as can be expected, but he's understandably very concerned. The friend said Dottie and Maureen feel they cannot return home and that's very alarming for people their age. 
they don't know if they will ever see their home again as the police are taking the threats against them very seriously. That's why there has been a load of security cameras fixed to their property and the police are keeping watch. The friend added, It is very tough on Maureen. She is doing okay but she has real difficulty walking due to problems with arthritis. On that night, Richard worried that she was trapped in bed. He would do anything to protect her. This is the last thing they need at their age. They won't rest till they get revenge, Traveller makes chilling warning to hero pensioner as dead burglars fugitive accomplices identified and a shrine to fallen criminal grows at OAP's home a traveller friend of a bear glass stabbed to death by his victim has warned his friends and family won't rest until they get revenge apostrophe. The man, who once beat career criminal Henry Vincent, 37, in a bare knuckle fight, told Mail Online his relatives are seeking revenge after Richard Osborne Brooks, 78, killed one of their own. The chilling warning came as a shrine was built in memory of Vincent opposite the pensioner's home in Hither Green, South London, which has sparked fury among residents. Meanwhile a family friend said that Mr. Osborne Brooks is handling the situation well but his disabled wife Maureen is finding it very tough as they remain under police guard today. Meanwhile officers also released a picture of Vincent's alleged accomplice Billy Jeeves, 28, who has been missing for five days, while a van he was believed to be driving was found burnt out and destroyed on Saturday night. Richard Osborne Brooks, 78, left, fears never being able to return home in case of a revenge attack after he killed intruder Henry Vincent, 37, when he broke into his home while his wife is struggling to cope one card left for Vincent appears to have been written by his daughter saying strangers can say what they like but she was proud of him a woman is pictured bringing flowers to the makeshift shrine to Vincent opposite Mr. Osborne Brooks's home the house remains under police guard but family friends told Mail Online Mr. Osborne Brooks and his wife Maureen are worried they won't be safe their traveler who knew Vincent told Mail Online I know that Henry Vincent would have killed the pensioner first if he could have got away with it, but they will act like he's the victim in all of this. This poor man and his wife won't be safe going back into their own home. Anything could happen. The dead burglar was an own cocaine user and heavy drinker. The traveler, who did not want to be named, added, the married father said, There is nothing that they won't do to get their own back on this pensioner for taking Henry from them even though he broke into the pensioner's house armed with a screwdriver. They won't get over a death of one of their own and they won't rest until they get their revenge against anyone who takes a cherished loved one. And when I say revenge, I mean they'll go armed with whatever they've got, guns, knives, anything that they can lay their hands on. He described what happened when he faced Vincent face to face in a bare knuckle bout a number of years ago. I was in a car park with my cousins in St. Mary's Cray one day and Henry said something offensive. I said, Who do you think you're talking to? He said, Do you want to do something about it? The next thing we had our shirts off and we were fighting with bare knuckles. I beat him within about 10 to 15 minutes. He was all mouth and no trousers. But we just shook hands afterwards and that was the end of it. Vincent, he added, had always preferred a life of crime to finding legitimate work. Henry would refuse to train and to get qualifications so they could do a proper job, he said. All he wanted to do was to stitch people up all the time, the more vulnerable the better, and to get whatever he could out of them before moving on to his next victim. First picture of dead burglar's accomplice, 28 who is still on the run five days after pensioner break-in, as police release image of burnt-out van used to flee the scene Billy Jeeves, 28, is on the run following a botch trade at the southeast London home of Richard Osborne Brooks last Wednesday police have released the first image of a suspected accomplice who is still on the run five days after a pensioner stabbed a burglar to death in his home. Billy Jeeves, 28, is a wanted man following a botch trade at the southeast London home of Richard Osborne Brooks last Wednesday. The pensioner, 78, was hailed a hero after he protected his home and wife from career criminal Henry Vincent, 37. But police are wanting to question Jeeves, who has links to Orpington and Swanley in Kent, and Cambridge, as they believe he may have been an accomplice to the burglary. 
a van he was believed to be driving was found burnt out and destroyed near Hockingdon Lane in Orpington, Kent, on Saturday night. Since the incident, Mr. Osborne Brooks and his wife Maureen have not returned to their £500,000 home out of fear for their lives. A traveller who knew Vincent, and once beat him in a bare-knuckle boxing bout, told Mail Online that the dead man's family and friends won't rest until they get their revenge for the killing of one of their own apostrophe. The chilling warning came as a shrine was built in memory of Vincent outside the pensioner's home. A van he was believed to be driving was found burnt out and destroyed on Saturday night, near Hockingdon Lane in Orpington, Kent during the botch trade in South Park Crescent, Hither Green, the accomplice dragged a fatally wounded Vincent, toward a van before leaving him for dead. According to a witness Jeeves and Vincent were sought by police over a distraction burglary in Farningham, Kent, in November 2017. The victim, a 70-year-old man, said he had his jewelry stolen when he let a woman, who claimed to have been attacked, into his home. A white van appeared outside the home and when it honked, the woman left. Video footage, obtained exclusively by Mail Online, is being examined by detectives who are hunting the second burglar, believed to be Jeeves, who fled in a white van after failing to resuscitate Mr. Vincent. Police remove belongings of hero pensioner and his disabled wife as bags of clothes. A hair dryer and tin of roses are taken from home they can't return to amid fears of reprisal attack bags of clothes, books and other items belonging to the hero pensioner who killed a burglar were today removed from his home. Two plainclothes police officers were seen loading some of Richard Osborne Brooks's possessions into a Ford Transit van parked outside his home in Hither Green, South East London. They were seen taking away three bags filled with clothes, books, a hair dryer, phone charger and a tin of chocolates. The 78-year-old and his disabled wife are still staying at an unknown location under police guard. Police have warned of possible reprisals after Mr. Osborne Brooks stabbed intruder Henry Vincent, 37, to death after he broke into his home last week. Two plainclothes police officers were seen loading some of Richard Osborne Brooks's possessions into a Ford Transit van parked outside his home in Hither Green, South East London. They were seen taking away three bags filled with clothes, books, a hair dryer, phone charger and a tin of chocolates in Hither Green. The pensioner was arrested on suspicion of murder but later freed without charge after a widespread campaign for his release. But friends of the career criminal, who broke into the pensioner's home with an accomplice, believed to be Billy Jeeves, 28, have warned he is still in danger. A traveller friend who knew Vincent told Mail Online, I know that Henry Vincent would have killed the pensioner first if he could have got away with it, but they will act like he's the victim in all of this. This poor man and his wife won't be safe going back into their own home. Anything could happen. They won't get over a death of one of their own and they won't rest until they get their revenge against anyone who takes a cherished loved one. The men were seen taking items away as the 78-year-old and his disabled wife remain at an unknown location under police guard officers packed three bags full of clothes and books into a Ford Transit van parked outside.